What's up, Jessica Night Squad? If you're new to our channel, please subscribe. So, I love to make masks, and I was saving this one that I got from the 99 cent store last year around Halloween time. I was saving it originally to make a Fortnite mask. I never got around to it. So, today I'm going to turn it into a Vecna mask, and I'm just going to use that as my base. I have cardboard. I'm going to also use a very hot knife to melt down some parts so I can get more of the real shape of the Vecna. And I have a glue stick. And we're going to need a lot of glue sticks for this, like a lot, like almost a whole pack. Scissors and masking tape. And I'm also going to use acrylic paint, Mod Podge. This way it will make it look a little shiny. And I have a reference photo. I'm going to use this one. Plus, I'm going to be using a picture of the actor from Stranger Things when he was sitting in the makeup chair getting his makeup done for when I paint it later. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is if you get a skeleton mask like the one I have or something similar, take a look at it. If there's any empty spots, fill it in with cardboard. Cardboard is a really great material to use because it sticks really well when you apply hot glue to it against the plastic. And this is just freestyling it. I'm just going to go ahead and eyeball it and cut out shapes that I think will fit in good. So this is a really good piece. And you can also manipulate the piece of cardboard by bending it if you need to shape it more to get it really good in there. And when it's perfect, you want to hot glue it down. Be careful with the hot glue. If your fingers are sensitive, you can always press on the other side with something like a wooden spoon or anything so that you don't feel the heat. And whatever I do on that side, I'm just going to go ahead and do on the other. Now it's time to work on the lips. So this skeleton doesn't have any lips. So we're going to make some lips by covering up the teeth with some masking tape and shaping the mouth area with the tape and additional cardboard and also to get rid of the empty space. This mask is going to look a little crazy at first, but trust me, it's going to look good towards the end. Now I'm going to extend the sides of the face down with additional cardboard. I had to heat up a kitchen knife over the stove, this way I can melt away this pointy part that was above the nose on this mask. On Vecna, there is no bony pointy part, sticking out part, the nose is kind of pushed in and hollow. And now I need to flatten out that hollow area and fill it up with some toilet paper and tape. For this step of making Vecna's mask, I used a lot of masking tape to create a veiny texture around the eyes all around the face and the forehead and to fill in the gaps and make little forehead wrinkles right above the nose area. This part takes a lot of patience. No worries if it doesn't seem absolutely perfect. This is just the very beginning stages of making the mask and later on we'll be making a whole lot of veins with hot glue. I also had some toilet paper nearby so I'm going to use this actually. It came in handy to help create some of the eyebrow bone area and to create some veins. So all you want to do is just ball it up and then tape it down. And then some of the toilet paper, you want to take a piece and just stretch it out and turn it into kind of like a long worm shape and tape that down as well. This will help the tape have some structure underneath of it so it doesn't collapse.
since Vecna's eyes are very sunken in, I'm going to do that as a separate part of the mask. I'm cutting out two ovals with cardboard. I'll hot glue them in later. And I am going to cut an eye shape just so I can see with this mask on. Now for the nose area, I'm going to make a triangle shape with a piece of toilet paper and tape that down as well. I'm going to work on the eyebrows a little bit more because they need more bulk and they really need to bulge out. For this part, you're going to need your hot glue gun a lot and about 50 glue sticks, maybe even more. Because you're going to use your hot glue gun almost as a drawing tool. You're going to fill up a lot of areas with veins. You want to have your reference photo for this so you can draw with your glue gun the directions of the veins, how they go on the real Vecna. I noticed that above the eye, in between the eyebrows, there's three circles. And in the cheek area, there's kind of a big circle. And the nose area is hollow, but it does have a stripe that's going down. And the lips have stripes on them. So you have to be very patient and be really careful that you don't get any hot glue on you. Because it really burns. Now I'm going to set my mask down the side and I'm going to work on cutting out the eye holes. This way I can actually see through this mask and I'm going to put some little veins on these eye parts. Yeah. 
now is the fun part. We're going to get into the painting. I think it's best that we cover this mask with a base coat. It could be white. In this case, I think I'm going to go ahead with a skin color. My daughter, Helena, is going to help me with this part. She's going to make a skin color base using some red, yellow, and a little bit of blue and white. This step is very easy, just apply your base color over the entire mask. You want to get into all the nooks and crannies and take away any of the glue strings. They kind of look like a little spider webby glue strings that can fall off your mask. Just take them away as you go. So after the base coat is applied, you want to take a sponge and just dab over everything to scoop up extra paint and to just get it really into all the little nooks and crannies. Take the two eye parts and paint them pure black and remove excess glue strings. Now I'm creating my paint palette. I'm adding all kinds of colors onto this plate and I'm going to incorporate that into this mask. Finally, the funnest part of making the mask is painting. So I don't have an airbrush tool. I noticed that the forehead is the lightest area on the Vecna mask, so I'll be using a sponge to dab on the colors. I'll be blending colors, some areas I'll be overlapping colors and using a fine paintbrush to get in to all the little nooks and crannies to make them darker and little white highlights to make the veins pop out more. So this part I'm going to speed it up because this part took almost 45 minutes just to paint.
Now that the painting is almost complete, it's time to glue on the eyes. It will make the mask look so much better. And I'm adding just a little bit of highlight on the veins of the eyes right before I glue them on. I got this stuff called Mod Podge at Walmart. Once it goes on, it looks like you're putting on glue, but when it dries, it'll give whatever you are working on a nice shine to it. The acrylic paint, once it dries, it looks pretty matte, so I really thought it would look nice if it had some gloss to it. This part took a while because I just sat back and watched a few movies and ate some lunch because we have to wait for that to dry completely. So after about two hours, here's how it looks. I guess you can't see the shine too well in the video, mainly in the forehead area, but it does look good. So this mask is originally a string mask, but I don't want to add strings to this mask. So on the inside, I'll be adding a stretchy band that will go around my head to keep the mask secure. And for some reason, I couldn't find any of my hair bands, so I'm using a sock. After you glue one part of the band onto the mask, you actually want to put the mask on, wrap the band around your head, this way you can cut away any excess so that the mask will have a snug fit. Hi everybody, my mask is all done. This is how to turn a $1 mask into a Vecna mask. And you can extend this out to make the veiny things that come down from the neck with some cardboard and continue making the little veins with the stripes of hot glue and paint. So let's go try this on and let's go see how my dog reacts to and let's take a look at how this looks with the black light. On our DIY playlist, I also have some other mask videos for Fortnite skins and I'm going to try to start making more masks. Like here we am in the bathroom. Put my hair back. Okay, and then come on. This is how it looks. Now let's see how it looks when I put a hoodie. I don't have a pure black hoodie to have to get one. I just have this one right here, so I'm gonna put this on. So here it goes. That doesn't look scary. <laughs> it doesn't look it does not look scary? My daughter says it does not look scary. Let's go see how my dogs react to this. The puppies are trying to eat are it. Are they really curious? <laughs> no, they're just trying to, they're just licking it. They don't it. care, they still love me even if I look horrible? <laughs> no, they're just licking your face. They're trying they to like lick the... It. It's like they probably think it's a piece of steak or something. <laughs> they're not gonna lick your neck. It's hot in there. <laughs> Let's see if you can pass the pepper spray protection. No, no, no. So here is the black light light bulb that we got on walmart.com and we're gonna go put it on a lamp and see how it looks. Okay, everybody, so I have my black light bulb here. This is how it looks. And the black light there. I hope you like how to see her, everybody. <laughs> it's very sweaty. <laughs> and that actor must have been really hot with all that makeup on. Well, thanks for watching, everybody, and please subscribe. Bye.